So today on Dumbdown Tech, we're answering the big question. Thermal paste. Do different ones actually help? Well, me and Chris decided to have a look at this as I've always championed uh, Arctic MX4 or MX6. And Chris has always kind of recommended the Thermal Grizzly uh, brand. So we had seven different thermal pastes laying around and we thought, why not give it a test? So Chris managed to have a Ryzen 7 5800X laying around. So he brought that in with motherboard and we kind of did a very rudimentary test bench uh, to test this out. So the Ryzen 5800X that was running with PPO enabled and would boost up to about 145 watt. It was being cooled by a 360 all-in-one cooler and the room temperature was at 21 degrees ambient. So we run these all with a 30 minute Cinebench run. And I think the best thing to do really is just bring the graph up. Let's have a look at that. So starting from the left hand side, we have the Arctic MX4. And that performed at 75.4 Celsius on the package, 77.5 on the CCD, and 75.1 on the highest core. And you'll see pretty much across this graph, they're all really, really similar apart from one, which we'll get to in a minute. So the Arctic MX-6 came in at 75.9, 77.3, and 75.4. Now, surprisingly, that was worse than the MX4. The MX6 is supposed to be newer and better, but apart from 0.2 on the CCD, it performs slightly worse than the MX4. Going over to uh, the ID Frost X45, that came in at 75.6, 77, and 75.2. Overall, that was a pretty good performance. And then we get to the up here branded thermal paste, or should I say, more like a, a thermal grease. So that came in at 76.5 on the package, 80.5 on the CCD, and 76 on the highest core. Not a great result for that one. And then we get to Chris's preferred one, the Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut. 75.3 on the package, 76.5 on the CCD, and 74.9 on the highest core. As it turned out, unfortunately for me, that was the best result. And then we have a couple of thermal right ones. So thermal right TF4 came in at 75.5, 77.5, and 75.1. Pretty much all but identical to the Arctic MX4 apart from 0.1 degree on the package. And then another thermal right, this one, the TF7, that was 75.8, 77.3, and 75.2. So you'll see across, say, six of these, we were within kind of 0 0.2, 0 0.3 degrees. Um, the, really, the only one that really stood out there was the Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut, uh, where it was 76.5 on the CCD, which was about one degree lower than the others. And then if you look at the package, it was the best one on the package, but by kind of 0 0.1 degree, and it was the best on the highest core. But again, that was by about 0 0.2 degree. So let's take that graph away and let's have a little chat about the thermal paste individually. The other bits to consider with the thermal paste is not just how well performed, that's obviously one of the big factors, but it's also how easy are they to apply. With that, you'll have uh, different viscosity levels. MX4, that's quite a low viscosity, so it's very easy to spread them out of the temperature. MX6, it's quite a high viscosity quite difficult to spread when it's cold. You do need to warm it up quite a bit. And even then, it can be a bit tricky. The ID Frost, that was pretty easy to spread. The Thumb Grizzly, very easy to spread. Actually, one of the easiest to spread. Chris is going to be loving this. Uh, the Thumb Right TF4, that wasn't too bad. But then the TF7 was extremely difficult. Really had to warm that up. And even then, as you're trying to spread it, it was all but coming straight back off again. So that was quite a difficult one. Then we get to the up here one. If you get uh, an up here cooler and you get a little tube of up here thermal grease, please throw it away. 
it was horrible. It was beyond difficult to spread. As you see, it was not very good at uh, in the performance. It was. It really was horrible. Now the other thing to consider is cost. The ID Frost X45, the Fermilite TF4 and TF7 and the up here all came free with uh, various different coolers. So, I mean, if you've got an ID cooler and you've got the ID Frost X45, I would really have no qualms about using that. It actually performed really well for a freebie. But if you bought that separately, uh, you are talking six ninety nine uh, for two grams. So it's one of the more expensive. Uh, the TF four and TF seven they were free with coolers, but again you can buy them separately. The TF four comes in at two pound ninety nine for four grams, so that's very cheap. And as you saw, was actually a pretty good performer. Now the TF seven, which um, wasn't as good a performer. That comes in at £6.9 for two grams, so it's actually quite expensive, and I was quite surprised that that didn't do very well, but never mind. Uh, then we get to the Arctic MX-4, that is £5.99 for four grams, and the MX-6 is £6.49 for four grams, so very, very similarly priced. And then we get to the best one, which the Thermal Grizzly Crinal. Now, it may be the best, but as you saw, by one degree, one degree on one particular part, is it really worth £7.99 for one gram? That's the kind of thing that you have to think about here is, yes, it was easy to spread. Um, Chris has run that for quite a while and says he's not noticing much performance loss over time. I mean, I don't notice much performance loss over time with MX4 or MX6, so... Yeah, I, I struggle to really recommend that one because of the cost if cost isn't a factor go for it um, now this is kind of a basic run through basic test of what we had lying around and we, we were quite surprised that we were all you know pretty much it was all within 0 0.2 0 0.3 and at maximum one degree apart from me up here i really just horrible if you want to know more if you really are worried about the kind of thermal paste you're using or want to use and you really want to know more please check out igor labs on their website he is calculating he, he's putting together this massive database of thermal paste testing and he has got a much better much more in-depth testing facility than obviously we do and some of the information there is fantastic um, I will put a, a, a link to that database uh, below, so please head over and check that out. It's a really great source of information. But overall, if you're if you're not that worried and you don't want to spend a lot of money, you could all but use any paste that comes free with your cooler, as long as it's not an up here. So with that mostly pointless information being said, um, yeah. Please like and subscribe and we'll um, try to do better in the next one. See you soon.